If you want to hear my plans for my slaying my sample stash for 2019, then stick around. All right, guys, we need to talk. Uh, this is not working for me anymore. In uh, early November, I think it was November 4th, I did a fifth round introduction of Slaying My Samples Stash. And to give you some background on the Slaying My Samples Stash, and I'll put the playlist right here. I had this jam-packed box of samples. And let me just show you the inside of it right now. It was so full, it did not close. And we're talking like samples jam-packed one after the other. Well, here's the deal. I had introduced on November 4th my next round, and I had picked uh, masks, which I was still working on, foundations, and some, some hair care products. And I'm looking over there because I've got a, a glass jar still full of some of those samples. Let me just show you what was supposed to be my focus in November and December. So I had a bunch, uh, I still do, um, I used some but not all. I have some hair products and then some um, mask samples. And I had also pulled out all of these, you'll see they're, they're all um, foundation or concealer samples that I had here that I was supposed to use. The problem that I'm having with this is that I go with an intention like that and then my needs or plans change for what I call my real life products. So for example, I had a bunch of shampoo samples, but here's the deal. I am now using a mahogany conditioner for my hair to get a, a deeper color of my hair. And so I don't want to use any other shampoo samples. And I had um, um, a hair restoration conditioner that I use on my scalp, that's what I want to use right now is the Strivectin. I don't want to use other shampoos. So it's kind of silly for me to have shampoos as my samples objective when that's not what I want to use. And samples are sealed. They can last a long time. I don't need to be in a hurry to use them. What I want to do though is reduce the overall amount. So my process for 2018 no longer suits my needs. So instead of just delaying and delaying and delaying my update to round four, I just decided we're doing a slaying my samples stash reboot for 2019. So here's the deal. I want to just show you the bags that I have. Um, so I've showed you these guys. So that's what I had pulled out of my box uh, on November 4th. Therefore, this is what was left in my box. And it's not like I haven't used samples since November 4th. I have used some, they have shown up in my empties. But the deal is that I stopped using stuff, other stuff in this samples box and using things that I hadn't introduced yet back into the box because I thought I needed to finish, like empty out the box before refilling it. I think that's kind of goofy. So I am showing you exactly where I'm at. So if I stuff it sideways, this is exactly where I'm at, which I think is less than a third of what I used to have because this thing was just packed like crazy. I am going to put back the foundations and the concealers that I thought I was going to use. I'm going to put back the shampoos that I thought I was going to use because a lot of the samples that I have, there's really not much overlap with the new stuff that I've received throughout 2018. And in 2018, I just received a ton of samples because frankly, I purchased a ton. So what I want to show you is the bags of new stuff because it's all sorted. I'll show you the bags of stuff by category and I'm going to put them all in this box and then show you what I'm starting off with for 2019 and with the same objective as of making as big a dent as possible in this samples box. Fair enough? Let's get started.
So I've already talked about these two. That's what I had pulled out for foundation and concealer. This is what I had for masks and shampoo products. We're putting those aside. I have three sets of cleansing wipe samples to each from Sephora. I do plan on keeping those for when I travel, but they're still samples, so they'll go in the box. And I pretty much avoided hair products, so I just have um, a couple of samples of the shampoo conditioner from Living Proof. This will go a lot faster, hang on. <laughs> now, I have a bunch of, these are concealers and foundations. This is all the new concealer and foundation stuff, along with, you'll see them up here, beauty blender packets. So this is beauty blender cleansers and mini sponges that I received. So I'm putting that in the foundation because that's pretty much, I would use that product in conjunction with foundation and uh, concealer as well as I've got primers in here as well. So very much base face products are in here. This is all lip products and a couple of illuminators and eye primers in here. That's pretty much what it is. And I considered this a colorful makeup sample. So that's all in here. And I do have a couple of lip treatments in there from Fresh. Next up, I have brow products. So I have some from Kat Von D and some from Anastasia in here. So yeah, a bunch of brow pomades in here. Next up, I have a bunch of skincare. So this is all skincare items. I don't include minis in here. These are all just couple of use samples. I've got, um, well, a couple of minis, but they're really, really tiny minis. So I'm, I have no problem putting them uh, in the box as is. And finally, some samples you already know if you watch my channel that I am working through are Tatcha samples. I have cracked open already my third sample of the Silk Canvas Primer, this guy. So it came with seven samples. I'll show you a sample right here. And I've been using these, each one of these samples lasts me, this little guy, lasts me up to seven days. So it's amazing how much silk canvas stuff I have. And I also have, this is a, an actual brand new Focus skincare. I'm also using the uh, water cream. So I had enough product to consider that I had product, not just samples. So this is great. So you can expect a review on that soon but it will all make it into the box. So I'm going to empty all these bags by category, organize them in the box, and then show you the final result. Okay guys, I have done the cleanup. I feel so much better. I have removed all the masks and the hair care that I had in here. And I also had a few lip um, samples that I was working through. One that was a light neutral concealer from Kat Von D and then also a couple of samples from Buxom that are just too old. I think it's the lip, lip plump. So I'm going to be putting those in my empties for the month. And I also found a more recent sample. Uh, this is the Artist Acrylip um, and I was using these. I just tried this one once but these two are not open so I'm going to be using those. It's a very shiny lipstick, but um, I think that it would be nice to use them. I am planning on doing a Makeup Forever brand new focus soon, so I'm going to be putting that to the test again. But other than that, I had one, two, three, four, five, six bags of samples to put into the box, and I'm sure you want to see the final product. I am sure this is going to look familiar compared to last year. I'm going to see if I can just put my hand here so nothing falls out. It is the same craziness as when I first started round one of slaying my samples. But here's the cool part, and, and I'm glad that I redid this for 2019. It's my no buy year. So there's no question that I can just work through this and not accumulate a bunch more samples because I'm barely going to be shopping in the stores. I'm going to be on a, well, I am not going to, it's been a month already. I'm on a replacements only. So there's not going to be a ton of samples coming through. There's going to be a couple of birthday items. That's not till the fall. 
um, I don't see myself adding in any sort of material way to this samples box at all. So uh, just to recap it all, I've got my complexion products here, so primers and foundations and concealers, lip products down here, some more lip products up here, brow pomades, skincare over here, and over here are those makeup uh, wipes and the shampoos that I was talking about. That's my box for the year. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think the only thing I'm going to do just for fun too is weigh the box because I have started getting really into that of weighing what it is that I use and get out of my collection. But yeah, it's, it's hefty. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on. And the, the last thing that I have to show you is my perfume samples. And I will bring that out momentarily because I will be working through those as well. I'm back and these are my perfume samples. I have a ton of these samples. As you can see, it's all the way to the top. And each one of these takes me a week or two to get through. Uh, and I have my standing samples set as well back there that I use on a regular basis. But I do want to at least one or two a month uh, go through these. And I, I do when I decide to use a perfume, unless I really hate it and decide to get rid of it. I do use it all up. I did that all of last year. So this will also show up in my samples empties. And I think I'm going to weigh that one as well because I don't expect to be adding to it either. That's it. So the only thing I need to do now, last time what I was doing was putting the samples in here to have on my counter and to use up and I was focusing each time on a given category of product. I'm going to be doing things a bit differently this time around. I'm going to have my samples uh, box out every day and try to pull at least a couple of things every day to use. Here's the deal. What I'm going to be measuring is how many samples go into this glass jar every day and report back at the end of every month. So each new month is going to be a round. This is the end of January, so I'm going to call February 1st round one of 2019, or for the purposes of keeping me slaying my samples going, it's going to be round six. We'll consider round five a dismal failure and it's really because I knew what I needed to do but just was reluctant to because I had set a pattern but the pattern doesn't work for me anymore. So it is round six but the first round for 2019 if that makes sense. So I'm going to keep all my empties in here and report back on my empties as a separate empties video at the end of every month. I hope that makes sense. So I did my January empties already, so you won't see that, that um, separation of samples and full-size products there, but for the February empties, you're going to see a regular products empties and then a slay my samples update. What would be a good goal, maybe? I think I would really like to have 30 samples per month. So 30 items of my samples stash done per month. That would be fantastic. What does it count? What, what counts as one? It would be like one of these. So, so not all three counting as one, but one of these guys that would count as one, one package of lotion that was, would count as one. Um, so any kind of multi use product. So for example, like I say, this is multi-use and this is three, one of these would count as an empty sample, if that makes sense. So 30 across all categories per month would be, I would consider that a very successful month to get through 30. So that's the target I am going to give myself and that should really help me make quite a dent in this now full box. I knew it was going to be full. I, was, I think I was maybe in a little bit of 
denial about having to to restart the box but again because I'm not shopping this year I think I'll make some significant um, progress and also this effort may finally convince me that I don't have to take samples just because they're offered if I don't need something I can just pass on it and just take samples of things that I really should be trying out or using and when I don't need something I can just pass on it I don't have to accumulate it thank you for watching today I appreciate your time very much I look forward to seeing you in the next video and I definitely look forward to reporting back but for now take care